Hello folks, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today we're currently flying the F-16 by SC Designs, which will be released very soon, in Iceland with the Quest 2. And in this video we're going to talk about the latest NVIDIA driver and my Quest 2 settings. So, let's just kick off with the fact that we are now running version 497-09. That's the NVIDIA driver which was released on the 1st of December. Now previously I have been using the 496-49 driver from October and I actually missed out the 496.76 driver from November. Check me out with all these amazing numbers. I actually sound like I know what I'm doing today, don't I? <laughs> because I didn't like it guys. The reason was nothing to do with the uh, actual frame rate because that is something that uh, as long as you're getting around 30 frames per second, you, you know, you're going to be okay. It's all about the frame timing. And for whatever reason, some of the NVIDIA drivers that we are seeing do not play ball very well with VR. And as you can see here, hopefully from this uh, footage, now I know it's from the mirror, guys, so please bear in mind that VR is very difficult to record. Okay, if I had a pound for every time someone said, why is your VR footage jittery? I would literally be a millionaire by now, but it's just how it is when you record. But I think overall you can see it is looking very smooth now. So with that being said, and as you continue to enjoy this beautiful spectacle of Iceland in the F-16, what an amazing, amazing time we have for VR. Let me talk you through some of my Quest 2 settings. The first one being, I still use the Oculus Tray Tool it is much better than the debug tool simply because you can set and forget. So now all of my settings on all of my VR headsets are aimed to be like that because I do not want to be spending my valuable free time messing around with graphic settings. And I think I voice that for everybody here, okay? So here they are, these are my Oculus Tray Tool settings. Bear in mind, these days, I actually have asynchronous time warp, is what they call it in Oculus Land, which is the same as motion smoothing and motion projection, motion reprojection, it's the same thing. I have it most of the time set to either 30 hertz or completely off, because I do find, for whatever reason, the Oculus headset software, it just is smoother than the HP Reverb OpenXR uh, software without motion reprojection. That's the crucial thing. I think with motion reprojection on, I actually prefer the Reverb G2 now. Right, anyway, so as you can see here, um, I have at the moment uh, asynchronous time warp set to off. I'm not using any super sampling because I do find that hurts performance. Super sampling absolutely hurts performance more than just using the native resolution of the headset because your GPU is working over time and we've just busted the speed of sound. Nice. <laughs> Uh, also, as you can see there, that I have adaptive GPU scaling on and the field of view multiplier set to zero. Now, if you are struggling for performance, I'd recommend changing this to 0.7. In the Quest Link tab, um, you can see there with the latest Oculus Tray Tool, you have the sharpening. Now, once you enable that and save it, you don't have to ever enable it ever again. And this is my point, it's set and forget. Make sure you've got sharpening enabled. And I tell you what, the Quest 2 now, the image is exceptional. It's very good. It's not as good as the Reverb G2, but it's getting close. And to be honest, you know, the Quest 2 is such a cheap headset. And what it does and what it, the performance of it, I absolutely damn well love this headset, guys. I really do. Anyway, here are my actual Oculus Quest 2 settings. You can see that I'm using 1.5 native resolution at 80 hertz because 80 hertz is comfortable in my eyes and there's more headroom. And here are my Microsoft Flight Simulator settings. They're pretty high now, guys. And that is thanks to the optimizations of the recent sim updates. Talking about sim updates, Asebo have just announced that they're going to release a public beta uh, for people to uh, participate in from the 6th of December. Asobo, why have you not given us a hotfix for the toolbar? That is a very important thing, and to be honest, it's inexcusable. We are very, very frustrated as a VR community. Um, I do not understand why you can't give us a quick hotfix like you have with other uh, issues in the past. 
please, Asobo, if you are listening, please pay more attention to us VR users. And with that being said, have a lovely weekend, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye for now.